random guy somehow survived all the explosions while inside. I think he did that just so Clem could get Marlin's bow back. The bow then disappears and reappears throughout this scene. Yeah, I think I can count that as a saving the hero in the nick of time cliche. Hey, the place is surrounded by walkers, but somehow the horses are still here and haven't been eaten yet. Clementine! Minerva, you are quite astonishing. Being able to scream perfectly even with part of your face chewed out. <laughs> somehow found the time to locate his mask, escape, and get ahead of everyone. Is that a fake narrow crevice loading screen I'm seeing? Damn it. It's so dark in here. Yeah, it's so dark that the lighting hasn't even changed. Despite the cave being deep and dark and James wearing his mask to hide his scent, the walkers still make their way through. You brought this on yourself. We're still trying to escape from walkers, but we really don't have much conflict in this episode. So I need to play the role of unreasonable asshole. I liked it. Now there's a heel turn that will never realize its full potential. You've earned my trust. If you say you won't ever enjoy killing, I believe you. I won't. I promise. That was easy. A little late to be mentioning that, don't you think? The day after AJ killed Marlon, you already know Violet and I voted for your state. A sim was the third vote. Yes, Ten. Bring up all this irrelevant voting just to rile up AJ and make him feel unwanted. We're safe, Clem. All we gotta do now is find our way home. I see that Violet was eager to plant the death flags around her circle. These are some of the worst choices to renaming the school. Mini channels her inner slasher villain. She's literally become an indestructible video game boss. The night will be over soon. Not only is Minerva still able to sing perfectly, but that sound was a little too echoey as well. The gun doesn't have any ammo when Minnie fires at Clem, yet it does when Clem wrestles it away from Minnie. Oh, now the walkers decide to eat Minnie when the blood hasn't even washed off. Get across! Yeah, there's the issue of Clem's gaping wound on her leg, though. <laughs> Well, damn, if it was that easy, you could have just shot Minnie as soon as she arrived and made the jump earlier. Suddenly, I'm getting season one flashbacks and slowly feeling my soul being crushed. Got some teleporting dad for one last time. This is getting dangerously close to the it ends where it all began cliche. Hey, guys, we ran out of the plot. How do we extend this episode? Eh, just toss in a flashback sequence. We got ourselves a Red Dead Redemption epilogue where we get to play as the secondary protagonist groomed for the future. Introducing the brand new dialogue system 20 minutes before the ending. A blizzard in hell is more believable than Clem's hat finding its way back somehow. While I am extremely happy that the game prevented me from slipping into a coma due to heartbreak, Clem's survival is questionable to say the least. She was bit and falling ill really quick and was pretty much done for. After AJ chopped off her leg, he would have had to cauterize the wound, cover her in walker guts, kill all the walkers surrounding the barn, then carry her with something like a wheelbarrow all the way back to the school. All by himself and in a short enough amount of time. And if that's actually the excuse, I might just get a headache from face palming so hard i found your hat it was in the creek down by the shack you know what you keep it if you want it you know i've gotten many sins out of this series over the years but that just might be the biggest one that hat is like the holy grail the one ring the creme de la creme the pinnacle of plot armor aj is an important character and all but this game can piss off with passing the torch this is supposed to be the final season leave it where it belongs with clem yep i'm sure that'll be relevant in this final season aj perfectly demonstrates exactly what i'm doing to this series thank you for playing huh you're welcome. Though the term playing is a bit of an exaggeration. <laughs> yeah. I don't like goofball. Would you prefer shitbird? Fuck. Watch the swears. Well, you said shitbird before. As I say, not as I do. <laughs> Drop the knife. Now. Save your sorries for someone who cares. Hey, you want to lose some more teeth? Keep staring. Watch your kid for you. He's not my kid, and I'm not his mom. Does he know what that is? My gun, so it's my rules. Does he know what that is? I'll guarantee he's a better shot than you. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Stop. Now. Can you play something else? Come on, y'all. Oh, come on, tough guy. Shake it off. Hey, zip it. That is not yours to read, kid. Finish that sentence, AJ. Get ready, losers. Because it's time for you all to lose. What? You can't have been alone this entire time. Who used to take care of you? 
I've always taken care of myself. Out of the four of us, who do you think is gonna die first? Any one of you, but certainly not me. Where are AJ's parents? How well you need to know. Ever have a boyfriend? That stuff is for suckers. Come on, Blue. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. You're basically a walking distraction. I think she pretty much sums it up. Do not fuck with me. AJ, shoot! You're our savior, Clem. <laughs> yeah, tell me something I don't know. Wanna try stepping back, Brody? I'd recommend it. Is it okay if I stay in the picture? Sorry, AJ, but no. Scratch him out. Now. You are fucking failing! Brody's dead. Sophie and Minerva are gone. You suck at protection. Why would you do something like that? Easy. Because he's a coward. You're pathetic. Fuck you, Lewis! He's a little kid! So shut your fucking mouth! The last person who pointed a weapon at me is dead. Unless you want to join him, he'll back the fuck off. AJ killed him like it was nothing. After what he did to Brody, Marlon deserved exactly what he got. That's not what you said before. I can't believe this. You're all fucking crazy. We'll wait for you to pack up, then Lewis and I will escort you out past the safe zone. Don't bother. We don't want your help. It's not so bad. Don't pretend you give a shit. I wish you could stay. You don't seem all that torn up about it, considering you walked us all the way out here. I tried, okay? I did everything I could to help you guys. Well, it wasn't much. Fuck you, you... We don't want to be out here all day. <laughs> I'm not helping you shitheads. My name is Lily. I don't give a fuck who you are, you evil bitch! The people who attacked you. What do you know about them? I know I'll kill the next one I see. Wait. Throw it. Distract him. Works just as well. And nobody gets hurt. I know you think I didn't do enough for you, Jake, but when I saw you were in danger, I had to do something. AJ and I are lucky to be alive. You're a fucking asshole, you know that? You all are. We send the one we don't mind losing. You know what? Fuck you. I can barely recognize her. She's not your friend. She's just fertilizer, helping the plants grow. No. Oh. Ms. Martin's the reason we're all alive. And? She deserves a proper burial. Here, we should burn her. I'm not mad at him anymore. Are you? Yeah, I'm mad at him. I'm fucking pissed. Great, we're totally fucking fucked. <laughs> that did nothing, because that's not at all part of how you tune a piano. <laughs> but it was funny. <laughs> You're the worst ever. <laughs> okay, it was a little funny. <laughs> not even a little. Damn. <laughs> I'll see you in hell. Rise and shine, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. He gets nothing. I don't give a shit about your war or your fucking Delta. You aren't gonna do that. You don't have it in you. Oops. He's gonna die, isn't he? I hope he suffers every moment till he does. Just promise me. You won't let me turn. How about this? How about you tell me everything you know, and then we'll see. What if they can feel it when they turn? I really don't care. This isn't about your pain. We want answers. You're Clementine. The girl who took over after Marlon died. Do you have a problem with that? Seriously? Fuck you. Your people attacked us. You lost two men. You'll lose more if you come back. Okay, that's how you want it. When I turn into a monster, I will bite you. Alvin Jr., if you have a gun, you shoot me. If you don't, you use your knife. No knife or rock to the head as many times as you have to. I said I don't wanna. I don't care what you said. You will do it. I don't care what you say. God damn it, AJ. AJ, I'm done. We're not doing this anymore. You're gonna drop it, or you're in big trouble. I mean it. <laughs> you're terrible. I 
was thinking maybe you should name it. It's a bomb, not a baby. We're not naming it. I need you to slap me. Help pull me out of this. <laughs> Some fucking friend you are. I'm so sorry, Violet. I didn't have a clear shot. Where is Abel? He got hurt bad in a fight. We let him turn. He wanted to die quick, but we didn't let him. That was my call. I made sure he turned. Well, I guess asshole runs in the family. Is that the consequence? That you're an asshole? Which twin are you going to be? The loyal one? Or the dead one? I'll be the one who breaks out at night and cuts your throat while you sleep. Do it, AJ! If I see you again, I'll kill you. You're pathetic, Lily. Clem, did you... Did you see Minnie out there? I'm sorry, I didn't see her. Take this guilt trip of yours and shove it up your ass! tomorrow <laughs> all right fine maybe we live another day to making it past tomorrow <laughs>